Hey there, so today's tutorial is based upon the colours of autumn, so reds and oranges and the colours you see from the leaves etc. The reason for this is because uh, a friend of mine, Joyce, um, she requested the colours of autumn, oranges and reds and the colours of the leaves that you see. So that's what I've done. Lots of or oranges and reds on the eyes and a red lip. So I hope you enjoy and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, eyebrows done, primer on, you know the drill. I'm going to start off with... One day I'll get the camera right before I turn the camera on. I'm going to start off with the Holika Holika Draw Light Waterproof Eyeliner. And I'm just going to draw this... Oh, oh, the shade name helps, doesn't it? Hold on. Thirteen. Shade thirteen. I'm going to draw that onto my lid and then blend that out. Next up, I'm going to use the Freedom Crop to Death palette. I'm going to use the cream matte, matte cream coloured eyeshadow. Yeah, the drill. Using the Cup to Death palette again, I'm going to use this here. It's a burnt orange with silver glitter, I think is the right way to put it. However, like a lot of um, eyeshadows that have glitter. However, like a lot of glitter, like a, like, however, like a lot of eyeshadows that have glitter, once you blend them out, it's basically matte. So I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush, tap that off, and that's our first crease colour. Next up, using the 120 palette, I'm going to use our favourite matte red here. I really need to pick up. A Stargazer Velvet Red because the red that I have from Stargazer is not the velvet one, which I thought it was. I wondered why it wasn't as good as I'd remembered. So I need to get a velvet one. And this is going in the crease. I have a feeling they might have been dark on this brush. I just used my Freedom Future Bright palette, the matte neon orange in there, and I've literally just dusted it to make sure we stay on the orange side and not the pink side of things. And because for some reason this side was not still not as bright as that side, so I've evened it out a bit now. Next up, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Eyes Like Angels palette. I'm going to use this one here, which is one of the gorgeous, super shimmery shades that's in this palette. And this is the orange. And that's going on the lid. The orange, by the way, wasn't coming across quite as orange as I wanted, so once it was down, I used that matte neon from the Freedom palette again, 
matte neon orange, went over the orange I just placed, and then went over it again with the shimmery orange. Okay. Sleek Noir palette. Fucking hell. Sleek V2 mattes. Sleek matte V2 palette. Noir. You know the drill. But obviously we don't want this turning muddy or taking away from what we've done, so add a little, you can add, you can not. I don't like speaking. Okay, the last sign time I'm going to use the Halika Halika liner again. Just draw a little bit under there. I'm just pinning it with my finger. And another eye. Another eye. The other eye. And... shimmery orange for the lid part of the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to do some liner. I'm going to use the NYC NYC liquid liner in black. A liner with when you're using reds is really important. So a good art line, probably a thick as well. That is a severe amount of eyeliner, but it works for this look. So now I'm gonna go do mascara and lashes. And I'll be back to the face. See you in a minute. Okay, I have mascara and lashes on, so now we're going to do a face, and a, fr a family friend of ours, she very kindly, she had a sort out of her makeup, and she's given me a ton of stuff, <laughs> so quite a few of these bits is what she's given me, I'll, I'll point it out obviously. Uh, the first thing is Smashbox, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, two sort of mini sizes of it. I have used this before and I adore it. Oh, if you see glue, I have um, a problematic eyelash that doesn't want to stick. Yeah, I have used this before and I really like this product. But it's just a bit too expensive so I was really glad to see it in there. And I'm also going to use Smashbox Photo Op Under Eye Brightener. It's like an under eye primer. So, admittedly, obviously, because of my eyeshadow, it's not really going under my eyes. But, oh well.
Now I'm just going to use Max Factor Lasting Performance Foundation in Fair. Concealer time, I'm going to use the Freedom Pro Camouflage Paste in CF02 and as soon as that's down under my eyes I will be setting it with Makeup Revolution Ghost Powder. I forgot to use my Freedom White uh, can see there is a highlight. Oh well, anyway. Now I have Smashbox Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder in Fair. And because this is part of their Halo range, you can see it's like a pressed powder under there. And then you simply turn the right way. And you've got a loose powder. I'm going to use a Real Techniques complexion brush for this. Or is it multi -task, sorry, multi-task brush? And this is one of the things that my friend got me. Or well, my friend gave me, what you want to call it. Makeup Gallery Single Eyeshadow in Cappuccino. And it's my contour. Now I'm going to use a la carte Silk Touch Blush in Rose Hip. I've never heard of this brand. That's a weird. Anyway, it's quite a neutral blush, which is perfect for this. And just gonna pop that on. Then I'm going to use the Freedom Highlighter in Diffused. Now I'm just grabbing my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and that multitask brush again. There we go. Some areas are just too shiny for my liking. Okay, now I am going to go and sort this out. And I'll go back to the lips. See you in a minute. Okay, hair is done. You know, as much as I'm doing it anyway. One. Right, way around. There we go. Lips time. I'm going to use Freedom Makeup 
Pearl lipstick in a vamp noir. So that is my autumn colours inspired makeup tutorial. A family friend requested a friend of mine requested it and I'm really glad with how it turned out. It's very orange and red and autumny, even though we are going into the winter now. It is really good and I hope you enjoyed it as well. So until so So, about time I stop rambling, and until next time, just believe. Bye!